All right, all right, all right, all right, Facebook. All right, all right, Epijob family. This is an ad <clears throat> or a tutorial for Facebook ads for real estate buyers, okay? Facebook ads for real estate buyers. That's what this is an ad for. All right, as usual, I always like to show you an example of a good ad. All right, straight to the point, simple, and then do a little bit of critiquing. All right, so I want to congratulate the Jills at Coldwell Banker. Um, they kept it very simple. I usually like to leave a story in there, so it would be like 2,000 word article that I would put together. Why? Because people don't know us. Um, they don't know you. They don't know why they should choose to work with you over anybody else. So I use this, like instead of sending them to a website, that's why Facebook will convert it way higher because you can put the website on the ad. Change your thinking, all right? This way, people, by the time they go to click the learn more button or whatever button they're going to click, they will already know you. They'll already have a little bit of trust or rapport with you or whatever. This is kind of short, uh, but it is to the point. All right, so if you're just trying to be to the point and you don't care about high conversions, then this is what you would do. You would give a short explanation of it, um, and you would give the address, and you would give the price for it. What I would have done was wrote, look, look at the price tag on that. <clears throat> That's not something people are just going to uh, say, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So I would have put paragraphs of information in here. All right, I would have made them fall in love with poetry in in this description. Facebook allows you to write write literally like an article in there if you want to. So make them get to know you. All right, make them dream. Make their not their mouth water. Their wallet. Their wallets. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what a wallet can do in place of mouth watering, but you know what I mean. Make it. Make them see themselves in there. That's what you use all of this space for. It should be a longer form ad. If it has the the more expensive the property is, the longer the ad should be. All right. And uh, yeah, this is very expensive, so I'll take the compliment back. All right. But anyway, uh, the images look good. Very good. All right. Then we have another one down here. Look at the price tag on this one. All right, uh, I'm pretty sure they're not converting too well. If they are, then excuse me, but I'm pretty sure they're not. You can hit her up and ask her, but people are desperate. They need Facebook ads, or they think they do, you know, so uh, that's why I'm going to help you guys out today and show you what to do, so make sure you're taking notes, okay? So, <clears throat> first of all, you want long form. Uh, don't People don't care about you, but you want to... Tell them a little bit about who you are and why they should pick you. Because they can just go anywhere and buy this or find find some listings and buy from somebody else. So you want to give them a reason to want to work with you. And then you want to give a very, very good explanation of why they want this property. Use a lot of adjectives and pronouns and all of those good language words and stuff. Uh, get links and Hughes books and figure out how to do poetry. I'm, I'm joking with you on that part, exaggerate. But you want to be very descriptive when you're, uh, you know, emphasizing how beautiful the place is. You don't want the, the images to do all the work. Speaking of images, as I said in the last video, when you're doing Facebook ads, the highest way to get them to convert is not to use images. But if you're going to use images, then you want to use the carousel option, all right? If you put up an ad before, you know what option I'm talking about. It's the one where the images are side by side, kind of like how they are down here, but it doesn't have this big one right here. It's just a, a carousel. They can go left or right, left or right, like a carousel. You were in a carousel as a child, right? But anyway, carousel image, okay? So that's cool, but... The highest converting ads on Facebook and anywhere else are video ads. People like to feel like they're there. All right, so if you have any little video, like a virtual tour or a walkthrough or something like that, write that down. You want to use that in your Facebook ads. 
it doesn't matter what the hell you're selling you want to use video ads trust me it, the conversions will be way cheaper the leads will be way cheaper all right the engagement will be way cheaper because people are visual learners all right images are a thousand words okay that's cool well then videos are a million then. okay so yes you want to create a video ad even if you take these images and make a slideshow video out of it and add a little bit of disco music to it or something like that all right but you want to put a little personality in it all right so you don't it don't have to be professional you don't have to hire a, a real estate uh, photographer or a drone expert or something you can literally just take your iPhone because I know you have iPhone <laughs> and you can literally just go around the property and and record yourself talking about the property and just going going through it taking the tour and showing people what they want you want to show them what they want okay that's what you want them to feel like yo damn i'm happy i logged on to facebook look at this i'm about to call these people i'm about to call them that's what you want them to feel like okay so as far as getting doing facebook ads for real estate buyers oh man listen this is uh, this is not what you want to be doing take those notes that I gave you first okay so the higher the cost of the property the higher the asking price the longer form your text should be don't be lazy it should be part paragraphs uh, describing this property now if you need some ideas let me explain okay um, if there's any interesting history about the house um, if it's in a particular neighborhood that's super desirable uh, to people from that area, you want to be mentioned in that. Talk a little bit more about the restaurants in the neighborhood. If you uh, commuting to work is right next to a highway, you're gonna beat the traffic. Blah 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 blah. That's exactly what you what you want to be including in there. All right, you want them to see themselves living. In this property how many schools are in the area for their children to choose from blah 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 recreation centers all of that that's what you want to use this text space for and remember you either use a carousel but I, re I recommend that you use a freaking uh, video okay it take you 10 5 10 minutes to go and put uh, together a walkthrough video with your iPhone or your galaxy okay all right excuse this gotta pay my balance I'm going to show you a little bit of targeting, all right, for buyers. So you put together your ad, all right, X, X, X. I'm tired of seeing that. I'm going to have to pay that. Let's see. <clears throat> all right. So you put together your ad, all right, how I told you to put it. You're going to put the area and make it long form like we talked about before. This is the type of ad you want to do if you want to generate buyer leads. Any type of leads. This is what I'm teaching you. All right. I'm not going to tell you to get a landing page and do all of that extra mystical, magical crap and all of that because those leads are super expensive, 10 bucks and up. All right. And people think that's good. But what if I told you you can get leads for under a dollar or the highest is two, three? All right. What about that? Okay, so if you getting Google, if you're from Google and you get you're paying per click, then this already sounds good to you. But my point is this: lead generation form, uh, lead gen, lead gen ads are uh, literally just a form that pop up, and they don't ever leave Facebook. So you no longer have to build landing pages and all of this extra stuff. Even if you don't have a website, this will still work with you. I recommend for branding purposes that you have a website and everything like that but as far as to generate leads this will be the cheapest form okay so I recommend doing a video view ad first to warm up the area warm up the demographics okay and then come back through with a lead gen form okay and when they click on the form when they click learn more it'll just be a a contact form box that just pops up and asks them the questions uh, that qualifies them as a lead they never have to leave Facebook half of the information auto populates into the form so if they're lazy 
they don't have to do a lot of work this is why you get way more leads for cheaper with lead form ads so let's see I said that I was going to show you how to target buyers. I shouldn't even do this because it's not <laughs> difficult. So I'm just going through. I'm not going to name that anything. You guys know what to do right there. You should by now, okay? All right. I don't know why I was doing that little stuttering crap. Let's see. Scroll down. All right. So as far as buyers. We got to use a bit of common sense, okay? So I don't know whatever city you're in, but this is what you're going to do. Write this down. You're going to write down the address in this, in this section right here. You're going to put your address in, and then you're going to expand it out to 5 to 10 miles, okay? So only... People that um, that will see this ad will be within five to ten miles of the property. Okay, so that is why it's awesome to do this. Okay, so let's see. After you put in address and everything, you want to choose the ages. All right. So people buying those properties that we just saw, unless they're like some genius kid whiz and they came out with Facebook, they're not going to be in their 20s okay so you would be uh targeting people i say if they're lucky 35 and up okay you do men and women okay so right now it says this that's because i didn't put an address in but by now it will be all the way down okay matter of fact let me just give you an example let's just go uh 37 They use one of my old addresses. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So now it's brought it down to five hundred and twenty thousand people. Okay. That's okay. We can leave it there, but we're not. And we're not going to leave it there either because ain't nobody 65 going to be moving. They're pretty much done for the day. Okay? All right. Now, interest. Very, very, very simple. Interest are very, 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 very simple. All right? You can literally just target people interested I just put up Zillow. Put up Zillow. Interest Zillow. All right. Interest. Let's see. Always taking people. Oh, God. I would target business owners. There we go. Because you know, if they're a business owner, they can afford that. Okay, so Facebook has changed a couple of things in here. As far as um, targeting, well, let's see. Let's exclude realtors. All right, so we've excluded realtors and brokers. You come down here. You see how it was narrowing it down real good? I know you might be saying, oh, that's taking away the, how many people I can. 
that to see that. That's cool, man. You only want to target the people that will actually buy your stuff. Man. All right. All right. Only connected to Wi-Fi just in case they're out. And I will bring this down just to test it. Down to 5, 10. 5 to 10 bucks a day. Just so you can test it. You can always pause it. So as you can see, it's 63,000 people we can target. The average reach will be 82 to 42 a day. 42 people, okay? All right. So it's very, very simple, man. Like I said, targeting is easy, man. So that's how you target for that property that I just showed you, um, which is, you know, to find a, a buyer. So now you know how to do a Facebook ads for buyers. But I want to show you something 10 times more powerful. So what my company has been rolling out is a new service called the DREAD service. It stands for Digital Real Estate Development. Nobody else in the world is doing this. We patent this. We uh, invented this service. All right. What the dread is, is a domination package. Now, what I mean by this is a lot of you know what Google is. A lot of you know what SEO is, and you're afraid of it. And you should be because you spend a lot of money. And you try to get to the top of Google, but that doesn't stop your potential clients from leaving your site and coming to these down here right so that's what's scary about it but what if your potential clients left here and every time they click to the rest of these sites they were all you every single site were all you so that's the dread service we will literally build out as many properties as it takes and rank them on the first page of Google until it drowns out your competition so it's digital real estate development we build massive digital properties online and we flip them for profit profit all right so you literally take ownership of these they're yours and you literally make a killing all right so i'm just using the example all right I, for you guys you would just imagine ranking for a real estate agent in whatever city you're in or um, homes for sale in whatever city you're in some of those keywords we would find 20 keywords and we would dominate all of them okay so let me explain look at this remember how this site is and remember the name of this site this is going to be the same site just different pages okay so he's number one all right say I'm a client I don't like that page so I'm gonna come to this site boom it's the same guy again I still don't like them. I'm going to come to them. Boom. It's the same guy again. Just a different page. You pay attention. Same company. All right. And here's a different portal page right here. But it's the same company. <laughs> All right. Now let me show you something. Watch this. So this is a snack pack. Everybody knows the snack pack is powerful. Over 80% of the phone calls come from this section right here. All right, but you still have to share them with these guys if you're number one. But let me show you something funny. Boom. Same website. Now let's come down to the second one. Boom. Same website. <laughs> Boom same website so that's what the dread service is we will literally build out properties and max the first page of google for all of your keywords your highly converting keywords that generate all of your leads your buyer and seller leads we will mask the first page and push all of the competition to the second or third page that way is no what if this doesn't work i don't want to hear that i don't want to hear that Guess what? This gets 210 searches per month. Call them and ask them who their competition is. They have none. All right. So if yours yours get thousands of searches per month, people sell uh, searching for homes for sale in Atlanta or whatever city you're in, and you're taking a whole first page. 
how can you not get the client if they can't choose anyone else? All right, so this is the Dread service. I've done my part. I've showed you guys how to target buyers on Facebook for your Facebook ads. If you want to generate buyer leads, I've shown you how to do that. Then I've shown you an alternative that's 10 times more powerful because Google is a search engine, meaning that these clients are searching to become your clients. They're searching for homes or they're searching for help to sell their homes. All you have to do is show up, not just at the top. You want to blanket the first page of Google for all of your keywords, not just this one. If I use any of these keywords right here, this same company will be doing the same thing for all of them. So they literally put whoever their competition was out of business and you can do the same. So if you have any questions on Facebook ads, I, hey, you just call me. I'll help you put these up. But after seeing these, after, you seen, after seeing Dread, this is what you should really want. People with common sense would want the Dread, okay? So my number is in the description of this video, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later.